Welcome to another episode. In this one, I'm going to show you a planet and an interesting base near the center. Now, this planet has several interesting properties. It does look kind of cool with the colors. Um, they're bright colors. This planet here has ancient bones. It is um, the, um, whatchamacallit, dissonant. This is a dissonant planet, and it's very similar to a paradise planet. The only type of storm on this is electrical, I mean, uh, mag, uh, gravitational storms. So this is essentially a paradise planet with dissonant sentinels on it. And this planet is literally um, within about 5,000 of the center of Hilbert Galaxy. So let me show you the coordinates for this planet. Now, Hilbert, you'll have to go through the center of Euclid, get a ride here, or do the Artemis line and select at the end of it the reset um, galaxy and take the teal or the standard or the rightmost option of the four options you have for resetting the galaxy. So you have the bird, bird, diplo, diplo, triangles, dragonfly, triangles, triangles, galaxy, sunrise, sunrise, and I guess that's a spider at the end. All right, now let me show you some other things. Go to another planet near the center of Hilbert. Okay, so first I'm going to go to the space station that I was at, where the base was at, because I didn't see the base in my other bases list. But usually you can see bases that are within the solar system you're in, in the teleporter. Now this system should be um, near one stop from the center. You should be able to fly through the center of Hilbert from this system. So this system is called End of the Road 2 um, Mondes and it's got six planets. All of them have been discovered. We'll go to the rusted metal one, Resigned Quill 53, on the Forsaken Planet. Now you'll land in the building if you go up. Usually if your landing pad is not far from your teleporter, it will place your ship on the landing pad, usually. Now, if you walk around here, this was kind of cute. He used an Exocraft summoning station to do this. Notice he put this building together of, with cubes and he put refiners on the top. I'll show you how he powered this in a minute. You can tell that he used cubes down here and the um, cube structure base uh, builders. Um, and he put his storage and mining for the rusted metal above that. So he gets 11,250, and it doesn't take that long. It says 1,000 an hour. But it hasn't been 10 hours since I last got some from this place. 
So it's producing it every, um, I don't know, every hour or so. Because I was probably here about an hour ago. Now let me show you um, how he's powering this. If you look for power, you'll see there's no nearby hotspot listed. Although, of course, the um, rusted metal is right over here. Now, you can see, where is it? You can see he's got these towers and you can see the power lines attaching to these towers that he built with the tubes. So let's follow the towers that he made where he attached the power lines at the top. Notice after traveling, uh, let's see, his base is 501 units away from here. He apparently extended the base with these um, with these towers and it's another roughly 300 units to the power spot you can build a base um, within a couple of hundred units of stuff but you will need to build objects in order to extend it This person built his power on top of these cubes. So if you look, his base is 814 units away. So for the coordinates, for this planet, you've got the face, sunrise, dragonfly, triangle, triangle, fish, triangle, triangle, TP, sunrise, sunrise, balloon. The coordinates for the base are 3415-1258. On Yadanak Kadam, it's got ancient bones, magnetized ferrite, rusted metal, copper. Now let's demonstrate where this is located. By going in and out, I'll set my ship to that one and I'll use his teleporter to get to the space station. Current system. buy the chromatic metal off of this pilot. While I'm here, I'm going to buy the copper also.
Okay, now I can fix the hyperdrive. Now the hyperdrive is full. Swap multi-tool to the broken tool. Okay, I make sure I have everything off of here. Make sure I have what I need. Make sure there's nothing to be broken on the multi-tool. And the hyperdrive is full. Now XF. Aim for the galactic core of Hilbert. Left clicking. Galaxy number three is Calypso Galaxy. Use X to switch the multi-tool, F, F, then F to see where your ship is. Fourteen seconds, so let's refill. And if it's thermal, let's see if we could find the thermal. That ought to slow it down. Let's put this on here. And we'll refill this. Now the ship. There. Okay, I should be in Galaxy 3 now with everything broken again. I'll work on fixing this and if I find anything worth showing you, I'll try and remember to put it in a video. Thank you for watching.